All right, so this was also trending on social media. Joe Budden says that he does not like Meg Thee Stallion. Let's get into this clip. Can say, I, I got some theories. But what I can say, I'm finished with these niggas, and I don't like that girl. Really? I'm, I'm, Meg, I'm, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't. You told Gail King you didn't fuck him. That, we that, all, that, we that all know, you, we all know you fucked him. The yeah. first line in for the prosecutor's statement, uh, opening statement. Yeah, they had an intimate relationship. Um, stop it. Get some help. That's to all the Meg fans. <clears throat> That's to all the Meg fans. People do not like Meg in the industry. A lot of people are, are done with her. A lot of people checked out and they're like, oh, you're just women hating your X, Y, and Z. The Meg has lied through her teeth too many times. And when people lie too much, they lose support. Meg should have remembered the boy who cried wolf. When before she started getting on social media and started capping. Emotional damage. And people want to ask what happened. And then she's like, nobody believes her when she tells her recollection of the story of potentially getting shot by Tori. But she lying. So it's not no woman hating shit. It's like, you're lying, man. You're lying. You're not going to get the support. 50 also called her out. Lie! 50, um, do I have the picture of it? 50 posted this. Bring into Jussie Smollett. It was a picture of that. I'm pretty sure I thought I said... It's a tweet. We It went viral. Some some girls tried to say, oh, 50 Cent only beefs with girls or something. She said the dumbest shit of all, all time. She got cooked on the timeline for that. They're like, come on, man. 50 is literally beef with every nigga in the goddamn game. 50 takes on all comers. 50 is kind of like this show. We call out anybody. We don't give a fuck. Fuck your feelings. Stop it. Get some help. Um, 